Hello! Hi. How are you guys? It's been a fun day for me. You know, like it's weird. I really like my job. It's boring as fuck, but I actually like it when there's stuff to do there, you know? Which has been pretty often recent because like everybody keeps calling off. But that's actually kind of cool because like, you know, I actually enjoy what I do and I haven't said that in a really long fucking time. Dudes, oh my god, some girl wanted to touch my hair at work and I let her and she was like, it's so soft and I was like, oh, Oh, that's inspiring. Thank you. Like, I was so fucking happy. Like, that is the best compliment I've gotten in years. My hair is soft, even though it's, like, really dry. <laughs> I actually need to put some more oil in it because, like, it's super dry. But she called it soft, and I felt really fucking happy about that. Like, I love when people touch my hair, especially the white variety, because they're always excited to touch my hair. It's like, oh my god, like, I feel so special right now. Like, I'm a fucking Chia pet. Anyway, let's go ahead with this reading, y'all. I'm sorry. I like talking about my day to you guys, because you guys are cool. Let me know how your guys' day goes, because I don't really ask you how you're all doing, except for, like, briefly, and then I just talk about myself, which is quite rude. But anyway, let's go ahead with the reading. But yeah, tell me how your day goes. I would love to know. I might even ask questions. Anyway, who we're reading for? Huzzah. Ah! Devious bitch! <laughs> Grandma has put cyanide in your hot cocoa. That's who we're dealing with today. That's how I always feel about this one. This Queen of Cups right here. She always comes up looking all gentle and shit, but there's something wrong with her cup, like she's poisoned it or some shit. So that's who we're reading for. A saboteur, if you will. So anyway, everybody, newcomers, returning visitors, fellow practitioners and weirdos, and everybody else in between. This is an all signs reading, so if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose and away we go. Tomorrow night I'm going to be doing the, um, the fuck it's called, the District 17 Players Guide for anybody who's interested. That's basically if you want to know how to manipulate the world around you. If you're interested. Most people don't watch it, but it's actually kind of getting interesting. I'm starting to get into it. I actually like that series. Anyway. Let's lay some cards out, y'all. We got huzzah. Ah! Someone took some risks and it didn't work out for them. Um, it's really hard to see on this card with the camera, but that rope right there, it is unraveling right at the base, right? So this person doesn't even recognize that the rope's about to snap as they're doing their tricks. And it snapped on them. Sucks for them, you know. Then they became like a little man child, the king of wands. Could be Leo, Sag, Aries, of course, that energy. Thoughts and feelings, someone wasn't able to take a leap of faith. And the root of that is because they've been sucking a tree dry. Using alchemy, possibly black magic, if you want to go that route, to um, create this dead tree to produce some pentacles when it shouldn't be. Like, it's already dead, and now all of a sudden the tree's bleeding. But this practitioner needs to be careful because, like, you can only bleed the tree so much before you start bleeding in its place. You know, it's kind of like necromancy. You know, you can manipulate a body for a while, but once the soul is finally gone, it's gone. Like the the uh, the soul can't stay with the body the entire time you have its body. Like, yeah, you know, eventually it's it, it's like much much like curse immunity, a little bit if you take it like that. Anyway, what's coming up next for this querent? Two of Pentacles, mind you, you could be this Aquarian, you could be dealing with somebody who is this Aquarian, it's all up to you. Figure out what the story is, because I have no idea. I just tell you what happens in its great. Ah, someone was looking for a reason to stick around after they set everything on fucking fire. That's nice. And they are wasting their time, ignoring the time, actually, with the Hanged Man Reverse. Yes. What's the vibration, please? Three cups. Having a good old fucking time while they're in a fish with big ass teeth. Like, that that always bothers me with this deck, with this three cups. Everyone's having a good time, yet they could easily be eaten from the waist down by this fish that they're partying in. And it's just like, I don't, I don't know how nice this fish is. I have no idea. But everyone's just almost ignoring the danger because, you know... We're drinking, we're smoking, we're having a good time. You know, one of those things. Wow, that sounded like really West Virginian. Holy shit. 
I need to get the fuck out of the state. Oh my god. Mm. Definitely not to Kentucky, though. Oh, no, no, no. They only have, like, one fucking county. That's a wet state. Everything else is dry. And I'm not driving very far for alcohol. <laughs> so let's see. This queer it. it. Took a lot of risk because they wanted control. They were acting childish. They didn't want to take this leap of faith. I think they felt like this was a dangerous scenario. Like, yeah, we could all party in the fish, but the fish got teeth. It'd be different if it just had lips, because you don't know. But I can see how those things could stab me. And I don't know if I'm good with that. At the same time, though, in this picture, like this one side, the one of the teeth are bent out. So maybe the teeth aren't exactly touching these people just yet. But still, they're in a goddamn fish. You know. However, it's like they created this stuff to be blistered. Now, they're looking over at their options, and they have no idea what the fuck... Well, the deck's up here, but they have no idea what to come up with, and they keep looking at these risks that failed them. I feel like they want to turn around and try to come back, but they're wasting their time if they want to do so. So anyway, let's go on with this reading, y'all. God damn, music's on point tonight. It's just hitting home for me. It really is. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but it's like, mmm. I love this type of music. It's just chill. Alright, Seven of Swords. What you doing? Someone didn't give a fuck about what was right or wrong with these risks. Ignored their intuition about these risks. And... <laughs> Like, they don't, they know they would lose a fight. Because the other person is like, we're both going to die together while this volcano comes down, uh, motherfucker. And this dude's like, well, wait, don't you think that's a little bit hasty considering it's like they underestimated somebody? Oh my god. Okay. Let's continue. Because I think I know who this person is. I was just... I actually tried doing a particular reading on this person, and nothing was coming up as an answer for me. And this person just decided to pop in. Ah, uh, Queen of Wands. Queen, uh, yeah, Queen, King of Wands. Um, Leo, Sag, Aries, right? Acting childish, acting like whatever. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. Maybe she's an overbearing mother. Maybe she's an unfaithful spouse. Maybe she's overly demanding and just really particular really, really particular. Um, but someone has to go inside and realize that uh, whatever feelings were there, they got left behind. It's like maybe this um, individual, this querent, decided they... Uh, whatever was going on with this Queen of Pentacles is no longer happening now. Like sailed away. It's gone. It's over. Those cups are still on the shore. Whoever's on the boat's gone. They're sailing away from them cups. They're getting away. They're no longer, uh, important. So, oh, yeah, wrong deck. My bad. Anyway, clarifying. Ha 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 My bad. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, I've been cracking myself up all day today, and I don't know what the fuck my problem is, but oh my god, it's been hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, like, at some point at work, I don't know what it was, but I was like, we are hungry, num, 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 num. <laughs> uh, it was just a good time at work today, man. Like, it's been a while since I've been able to say some shit like that, and I actually had a pretty decent day. All right, clarifying. Um, this right here, something is an ending. What was this card underneath? The risks risks that are going to like these are like if it was upright i'd be like you know um these risks they might be worth it at least there is no it's reverse and the rope's about to snap and it's like no dude no like you're gonna you're gonna you might just fuck yourself up just a little bit you know <laughs> just enough yeah and then and then gonna sit there and like Like, 
this clearance unsure if there's gonna be a battle or not. Not like they necessarily are waiting for these two people to win, but it's more like, um, is there gonna be a fight? Am I just gonna start whipping people? Cause I, get, I don't know how to work the Google. I don't know how to work the Google. <laughs> oh my God. The person I was reading for who's actually resonating with this right now. Um, so I'm a little bit biased when I talk about this. So forgive me. A little bit of transparency, right? Just let you know. I'm being biased as I read this. Um, but <laughs> like this is totally the person I've been dealing with, you know, like, uh, like a tower moment, you know, who? No resurrection, shit like that, like, mm. but I feel like they don't know if there's going to be a battle or not. Down below. Yeah, you don't want to carry that shit anymore, queer it. You don't want to deal with the baggage from back in the day. Like I said, you left on the boat. So there is no more of the emotional baggage that you don't want to carry. You don't want to carry those worries. You don't want to deal with those worries. You don't want to get involved with the worries. Like You're not letting shit bother you. If you, th if you are worried that somebody is trying to cause you. Hello, kitten. Are you trying to get up here? Like, you don't want to carry the burns anymore. Like, it's not even this bitch's problems. It's like, you're carrying problems that, um, have nothing to do with her, in a sense. Oh, but, you know, we're just gonna keep... But it's like... It's like, no matter how much you try, there's still gonna be an argument. I'm gonna like one more. Yeah, because you want to keep fucking questioning somebody, Quirant. You want to keep bringing up fucking... It's like you keep wanting to test the fucking waters to see if this person's actually on your side. Just because they have different injuries than you, I feel like. Like, not even because, like, you know, you might be suspicious that they were talking to the one bitch who was dressed like the enemy. No, it's not that. It's because they're hurt differently than you. Because I always notice his arms and shit, because that's where the bleeding is, but he's got a sleeve on, so it's like, oh, no, nobody needs to see how bad these are. They're just little bandages on my hands. It's okay. Are you happy you're on my lap now? Yeah, you are. But it's like, this other person over here is just like, well, you don't have a head bandage on, so... Are you coming to kill me? You know, it's, it's, it's exaggerated. It's like paranoia. And I always say that with the Rider weight deck, dude. It's really paranoia. It's like... Not wanting to carry possibly a moment when, like, you and the person you're dealing with, Quirant, just couldn't meet eye to eye and you just looked at each other differently. And, you know, all sorts of shit, right? But it, you're still paranoid a little bit. Okay, anyway. The thoughts and feelings and roots and vibration. My kitten is up here. Here, bless these while you're here, bitch. There we go. That's a good kitty. Kitten's up here. She says hello. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Don't you? Such a good little girl. Alright, so this person is afraid to take a leap of faith. Possibly over in this direction where they want to stick around, but they're wasting time. They need to look at their options, all this shit, right? They want to offer their cup, genuinely. Like, make an offer. Be nice. But that's a hell of a fucking burden, and I feel like they have a hard time. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, like, this is literally resonating with the person I was actually trying to read for today. For my own personal reasons. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like, this person has a hard time apologizing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because nobody likes, you know, having to admit they were wrong about something. That's human nature. But it's like... They haven't even started taking the steps to have a burden... To be burdened, you know? It's like, it's not even that bad, man. Like, it's just words. <laughs> you know. Uh, and, they, and they probably have terrible advice. Or they're telling people. It's like, they don't... Like, hmm...
Oh god, this is so personal. I hate that. Like, it's not even resonating with me. It's just the person I, I was reading for earlier. And that's what's fucking me up. Because it's like, there are other people involved in this. There are a multitude of you who are in this. But it's like, I see the person I was reading for. And it's like, I know. Ugh. Okay. So they could either have gotten bad advice from people. Probably younger people. Or heard some bullshit that didn't even fucking matter. Right? Just words. Maybe they couldn't get advice from somebody. Maybe they didn't end up with something a lot better than what they thought they would. I don't know, but like... Mm. The root of those thoughts and feelings... It's like, it's like these, this young couple comes up and just says shit to this old senile man. Knowing that, um... You know... He barks in response because, like, it's not like he, he's got Alzheimer's or anything, or he, he just barks because, like, he hangs out with his dog. And that's the only person that talks to him. So, like, when people come over, he's just like, yes, I do like cheese, you know, just barking shit out and stuff. Like, doesn't pay attention to anything. And it's like, he blurts stuff. And these people come in knowing that he just blurts whatever or says whatever and just contaminates his vocabulary, I feel like. Like, give a bad... Like, I don't, I don't know. It's like... Getting bad advice or getting the wrong advice from somebody who you really shouldn't. You know. It's like, just because this dude's old doesn't mean he, was, he wasn't he was stupid. You know? Like, let, like, let's be clear. There's a lot of dumb old people because they were all dumb young people. Like, you, you like, respect your elders, sure. But recognize a dumb motherfucker when you're around the dumb motherfucker. You know, whether you're younger or not, you know, and I feel like this was like a dumb motherfucker who, um, yep. Okay. Anyway, seven of coin. Someone was like bleeding this tree dry to produce pentacles in order to start a new cycle for sure. Especially after a separation happened with, or they weren't sure of this, well it's not even a separation, it's just like this relationship's in the dark. They don't know anything about it. And they aren't ready to go fight for shit neither. Okay, whatever. Anyway, three of cups. This motherfucker, I swear. Like, like the person I'm, I was reading for earlier is just in this, and it's starting to piss me off a little bit. Just enough. Just enough for me to go, mmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah, this three of cups right here. Something didn't work the way it used to. You know? Like all these how like something isn't the way it used to be. Um, someone's still feeling a bit tortured and hung up on things. And now they feel like they're being watched. Oh my god. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm just saying, for the person who knows that I'm reading this and it's about them, I know you will never see this video, but I want you to know that I don't care enough about you to, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Never mind. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. I'm just saying, if you ever... Like, stumble across this video. If you ever need a hug, I'm here. You're still fucking stupid. I'm just letting you <laughs> Okay, let's see. Clarify. This person needs to... Oh, it's the Knight of Cups again, actually. He's showing up once again. This time, though, he's drinking from that cup trying to recover or brace himself. See, this is exactly why you're fucking stupid, because I don't understand what the fuck you're doing, okay? Look, bro. You're gonna drink a cup of wine and then dump water. Like, no one's gonna notice the difference. Like, you're out of goddamn river. Look at this. Look, there's the river. There's the water from the river, right? And here's water coming out of your cup. 
What'd you do with the wine? You drank it. Why are you drinking the wine? I don't know. I'm throwing another one down there. Cause like, like I'm sorry if this was resonating with me and I'm getting really sappy, but this is like just, uh. Hmm. Okay, never mind. I was being an asshole. I was assuming too much. I apologize, peeps. Claret, you're afraid that um, you're bracing yourself in case you have to let go of the emotions of feeling like, you know, maybe you'll get called. Maybe you'll be um, resurrected. Maybe St. Michael will be like, you know what, you're not too bad. Like, let's just let you the fuck in, you know. Like, who cares if you black that kid's eyes? Like, he was gonna be an addicted, like, the deaf kid anyway. Like, he shouldn't have been picking on him. I, I, it's cool, man, you know. Like, St. Michael's got your back. But I feel like you're letting that go. Like, it's like you're bracing. It's like you're getting drunk at the river to dump the waters because you know that, like, someone isn't gonna... take you in, I guess. Or say that you're allowed in the club, I guess. I don't fucking know. Like, mmm. You know, down below, all yeah, all that magic kind of like fucked it up, didn't it? <laughs> like something was manipulated harsh, and he's aiming right at this uh, knight who isn't rushing in to do anything. I feel like, well, no, he's rushing somewhere, just nowhere near anything. They'd rather just walk away. Queer it. And, you know, the person who I was reading for earlier, if you ever see this, you know, I, I doubt you will. I doubt you even watch my shit. You don't even know I do this shit, I bet. Anyway, um, I just want to let you know that um, you're not a villain. Like, sure, you did fucked up things, but people do that all the time. You know, it was one event in one long ass day, which is the consistency of our life, right? Like, you're not a villain for doing what you've done. And I feel like with this magician in the Page of Wands, like, you're walking away feeling like you are, and it's like, you're not. Like, you are a good person. It just, it, it, being a good person takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of concentration. People take it for granted how hard it can be to make the right choices and decisions. And I'm telling you, there's never a wrong time to start doing that. Like, you know, it's up to you if you want to change. But don't ever feel like you're a villain. I mean, unless you're trying to be, and you are, and then that's a completely different thing, then, you know, like, I guess you're going to, whatever. But, um, you're not, by nature. You don't have to take the action of walking away just because there might have been mistakes you've made. I just want you to know. Like, I feel like that's important for you to know. Vibration. For someone who feels hung up on some bullshit and feel like people are watching them. Which is a fucking ridiculous. Embrace the goddamn animal! <laughs> That's what I gotta say. Embrace that beast. Hug it. Call it sir. Because it's a male lion, obviously. It's got a mane. You know. Because, um, you know, might as well embrace that shit because your feelings are going to pop out anyway. What? Oh. Yeah, you're... I mean, you might fuck up your feelings, but... They're gonna come out anywhere. Anyway, what's coming up for you, Karen? This is like hitting way too close to home. Kitten, you being in my lap is fucking me up. A bit. But you're too cute to remove. Yes, you are. Alright, two of pentacles. Someone's trying to be decisive on shit, but they're also looking at these options where they're not sure if there's gonna be a fucking end to all of this, like, fighting and shit, right? Someone's still refusing to let go of a Betty. If not several, they won't make a choice. Despite the fact that they need to face that devil, they're acting cowardly. Oh, we got a slight look, you know. They'd rather this marriage end before it begins. They don't want to communicate, they don't want to try anything, but then they're gonna act like they're abandoned like a fuck. Mm. They're gonna act like they're abandoned like a child. 
Okay, whatever. Ugh. Like, this is really getting on my nerves. I'm sorry. Like, it actually is, because I don't understand this. Mmm. Go somewhere with your shit. <laughs> it's like they don't want to choose. They don't want to face the devil. Which, mind you, I'm a fucking Capricorn, and it's right fucking there. And the King of Wands is down here, too, which is a Leo, which is strength. No, it was King of Wands. This is strength. Still, same fucking energy. And they'd rather walk away. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm greatly fucking annoyed. Mm. They still want a reason to stick around with the Six of Swords. Sorry, I literally just started drinking. Like, I hadn't even tried to drink until I started doing this reading. And it has been progressively worse. <sighs> anyway, let's see. <laughs> this person just doesn't understand what a fuck fair is. Querent. Whoever wants to stick around, they don't know what fair is. Especially dealing... Or they think a, a King of Pentacles is completely unfair. And they're just going to stand there with their bird being like, I have a sword. I will use it even though it is pointed down. Yay. Like, I don't know. Like, standing in some truth about this King of Pentacles who is completely unfair. Or they think it's completely unfair. Or they think he's in the dark about all of this shit that he's doing and stuff. Um, and it's just like, hmm. I remember they think it's unfair that he's sitting there. Also, still sitting there waiting for some truth to be laid out as well. Like, that's what the King of Swords does. He speaks truth. He waits for truth. He talks truth. And if you cause him to turn that sword upright, he's going to cut your ass the fuck down. Which is what this King of Pentacles might be doing. He might be sitting there waiting in the shadows to cut a motherfucker down. And to the person I was reading for earlier, and you recognize yourself in this shit, I'm waiting. You know, like, you know, I've been waiting for a fucking while. You know, I'm just gonna part my personal shit out here right now, but you know, like, you could talk to me at any fucking time. I'm right in front of you. Easily. If you cared. But, you know, you're displaying that you don't. Everybody else? person I was reading for is an asshole. <laughs> Yet they won't come up and like actually just have a discussion. Or, or, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being an asshole myself. I probably am. But to be fair, I have every right to be. The Hangman Reverse. Wasting time. Yeah, there's that King of Wands again. They're yeah, like watching like there's fucking snakes in your yard. For anyone wondering why I'm so miffed about this particular reading, um, the person I was reading for who's showing up now had some things to say about my daughter. And I don't appreciate it. You know? Like, that that's why I have a little bit of venom in my voice when dealing with this reading right now. That's why I'm getting a little bit pissed, you know. Watching me like I'm a fucking snake. Yeah. But you ain't gonna do shit, Queerant. Like, you're watching snakes, but you ain't taking action. Yeah. yeah. Especially in regards to starting something new with the two of cups. That's the only card, right? Yes. Okay. Alright. Clarifying. Well, we got a book. I just need to pick it up. Here we go. Alright, well, we got two books, actually. Um, here's the King of Swords. Sitting there thinking, should I send this bird? Like, his sword is down. He really isn't combative. He's just like, should I say something or not? And then it's like, nah! I should just let that shit drown. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. But, once again, it's wasting time, and other people are enabling you to um, feel this way, Queerant. Now, with this other book, it was separate, though. Um, you're fighting demons in your head. 
like a guilty conscience at night. Mainly because you weren't kind. You weren't gentle with cutting something out. Like, you were kind of bolsterous, acting like an asshole. However, there was still a door open, despite the fact that people were leaving. And tricks were to be done by this Knight of Wands, someone with this energy, right? They only took what they wanted and left the rest, but they were going to come back for him later. However, someone heard something very, 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 very naughty from a black kitty. Whether it's true or not, who knows, but it was meant to start some shit with this... Queen of Wands Reverse, who's very impatient, um, combative. She's got lions right here fighting on her throne. She's ready to throw down, man. She is ready to hurt somebody. <laughs> and, you know, mainly about who had a good time. The vibration. Three of Cups. Once again, three people acting like they're dancing, yet ignoring the fact that they've been in a fish with teeth. Anyway. Hmm. I'm sorry I get that fish with teeth analogy a little bit. Okay. Anyway. By the way, I don't want to hear anybody say that, you know, I'm being a bad person or a toxic person. Or, like, you know, like, I know that that might be coming. But at the same time, you know, like, fuck that. Like, if someone I know who has done me wrong shows up in my readings... I'm probably going to say something about it because, like, it's going to remind me of what the fuck happened. And then I'm going to get pissed off all over again because that's how memory works with me. Let's see. Yeah, they let this person drown, and yet the person did not drown. And now they feel bad about it. It's like, oh my god, this person's living. I can never see them again. However, um, queer, and you can come up to them while they're still healing, resting, or whatnot. Give them a flower. Give them something. But do not treat them... Like, but don't expect this person to treat you anything more than a fucking no. You know, after all, you did let them drown. And then you were surprised that they fucking lived and learned how to swim real fucking quick. Right? And now you want to come up to them while they're recovering being like, hey, how are you? You know, like, don't be surprised if they treat you like a fucking no. And don't give you what you think should be given or equal. You know, if you did something, somebody or something wrong, don't be surprised that they act this way. If you're trying to make amends with people, that's fine. But, like, understand, people are going to be wary. Because, you you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. People aren't going to, like, be completely open with somebody who did something wrong. Like I said, you're not a villain. But don't expect people to believe your transformation immediately. Or you're trying to make amends immediately. You know, like, if, if you... If you uh, if you, if you fuck someone up just enough, they probably won't trust you for a while. Alright. Next ones. We, God, this king, somebody thinks that a king of pentacles is unfair. For sitting in the dark, waiting for something. Like the, king of, like, the King of Swords is just sitting there. He always sits there. He always stands there. He's just waiting for somebody to come up and be like, you know, I, I, I wish a motherfucker wouldn't lie to me right now. Like, that would give me something to do. But he's sitting here patient, just being like, you know, I got my sword down. Come say whatever the fuck you want. Mind you, I'm a, a Capricorn Sun Aquarius Moon. So this is my persona right now. Just be like, if you want to come up and say, I mean, I don't care if you think it's fair or not, but if you got something to say, come over and say it. I'm a big girl. You know. The wheels turning, someone is noticing that the statue has a bunch of abundance, and they're like, huh, I wonder how they worked that out. Like, I, I know I built this statue, but still, why am I not like that, you know? That's because someone isn't reaching out, communicating, and that's leaving some bad seeds growing on the ground still. Like it goes out one ear and out the other. You know, if you if you want to be like this dude, you're gonna have to go ahead and reach out in order to put out some good seeds. Dude, you just can't sit there and talk to your fucking self. Like I know that from fucking experience, because I always talk to myself. Anyway. But talking to yourself doesn't do anything, and that's what you're doing. It's like, if you want to talk to the person, talk to them. Mm. 
Let's see. Last row, right? Parent, you just want a happy time with everybody. But you know what you know, and you already knew it before you started. And you know, either you're going to have to make an offer, or for my person, I'm probably going to have to make that offer. Mm. God damn it. Every fucking... I swear, every time, you know. Don't be surprised if, like, if somebody pops up out of nowhere, too. You know? Feeling all trapped and shit, and trying to quarrel for a fight. But if you do that, someone might just be sitting on their horse, not really moving, and then all confused on where to fucking go. And then be like, oh, well, I guess we're just different animals of the land or whatever. Right? I'm going to drop one more. Mm, do not crush this offer. Querent, I will say. And the person I was reading for. Don't crush the offer. Because I feel like if you do, that's just going right back to that King of Swords energy that you were trying to leave before. You know? Please don't do that. That would be terrible. Anyway. That's the reading for tonight. Mm. Queerance and my person as well. Well, you just... You're not a bad person. It's fucked up that you left someone to drown, but at least you're trying to come back to make things right. You know, like, I, I, I'll give credit where it's due. You're trying. That's, that, like, that's all I can ask you to do. You're trying. Like, that's, that's, like, I can't even fault you because you're trying. It's not like you're a complete fucking asshole. You have feelings. You just fuck them up every once in a while. That's all. But, you're not a bad person. Okay? Even I recognize that. And I'm a fucking idiot. You know? It doesn't matter if you're stupid. You're, at least you're smarter than an idiot. You know? Anyway... That's the reading. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. Sorry for being a little bitchy during this reading, but you know what happens, right? Anyway, um, you guys have a good night. I love your faces. Be kind to each other, please. That's the best way of dealing with people, I guess. Just be kind to each other. That's all I ask. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.